we'll be re-taping the handlebars. I already stripped the old tape on these handlebars. We will put on some degreaser to clean up the metal and then put on new tape. To do the cleaning, we'll use white lightning clean streak. Next, you'll need some vinyl electric tape, scotch, it's about $2.50 at your local hardware store. You also need a pair of scissors to cut the tape. And finally, you'll need your tape. I bought this tape off of Amazon. It was about $7.50. So there's two rolls, one for the right side and one for the left side. And there's also two handlebar pins. These pins, that you can see in the bag, go on the two stops of the handlebars. Always wanted to make sure that the tape's tight and wrap over the aft third of each piece of tape. So we have this guy and I'm going to wrap over one third of the area. I'm going to do a figure eight always around the actual grips and brakes. So here's one coming around and then another coming back down in a figure eight pattern. Always making sure that you're tight around the grip. So we've wrapped that off with electrical tape and cut it to trim. And now we just need to put a stopper in this section. So we tuck in. Pretty good job, not the best, but Got our second roll of tape here. And once again, electrical tape, best way to finish her off. Now for a 30-year-old bike, 40-year-old bike, I don't even know how old this is. It's really old, but it looks pretty nice. A little janky here, but for me, for my purposes, this is as good as new. Feels great, looks you know, kind of tacky because it's red, but it's good for driving around the streets of Boston where red might help you get picked up a little bit better. $10, 20 minutes, save 50 bucks. Some stores, at least in Boston, they'll rip you off for $50. Uh, just order the materials on Amazon. Go down to the basement and have at it. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing.